confidence is preparation. Four years ago, I went to an acting school and this is specifically for scene study. So you're doing scenes with other actors and I've never done that before. And I remember telling the acting coach, hey, I'm not really confident that I can do this. I'm actually very nervous and I have a level of fear in me. He laughed at me. He said, of course you're not confident. Why would you be confident? You've never done this before. That would be called arrogance. That got me. Then he primed me up a little bit and said, it's only with practice you will become confident. When you're doing something new, something different, something outside of your comfort zone, why would you be confident in that thing? Now, I do believe that you could be confident that you can overcome something new, something different, that you have the ability to learn. I think you can lean on that. Being actually confident in doing the thing that you've never done before, well, that is arrogance. One of the things that really gets me <laughs> is that people say, well, I don't want to prepare for a presentation because it, it gets me very, very angry anxious and so i rather just go up there and wing it but then when they go up there and wing it they get anxious they get performance anxiety well but that's because you didn't practice maybe just practice it's not fun to do but it helps black and white thinkers i feel you black and white thinkers because i am you you are me when you have a goal you just go so black and white thinkers tend to want to go all the way they go 100% and if they don't get to that main big goal, they think they're a complete failure. What that does is it creates a distortion that you are not achieving or you shouldn't be confident because you clearly failed, you clearly didn't make that big thing. Instead of creating these little milestones, give yourself those quick wins. I used to think, oh, those quick wins, those baby step wins, those are for losers. Those are for people who are not achievers, but I am different, I'm black and white, I go all in but then i realized when i would fail it would really get to me and there would be a longer recovery period before i get back on the horse so to speak when in actuality if i just celebrate those small milestones those small wins it took me one second to get back on the horse when I made a little mistake or it didn't go the way that I thought it would go, I, I would just get right back on because I have 10 milestone wins behind me. As much as we like to think that we are above these basic psychological games, we're gamers out there. Our brain is wired for dopamine, so just lean into that. Then that brings us to another note, dopamine junkies. This is wild because I just had a therapy session and she explained this to me. Serotonin acts like this, it acts in these calm waves but it's pretty stable dopamine are spikes dopamine is you scrolling on your phone dopamine is you eating that junk food and it tastes so good so you have these highs and those crash and ironically when you crash what do you have to do if you're a dopamine junkie you have to do something to spike that dopamine up again versus I went from living in a highly metropolitan city into this very serene, I mean, you could see it, it's serene, it's nice, it's peaceful. I would have called this boring in the past, but I see it as peaceful now just because I'm feeling this, I'm feeling the serotonin of these nice waves. It's this grounded confidence where even if there's chaos around you, you feel safe and secure within yourself. It's that knowing, it's that trust. If you don't already know, studies have been found that lobsters, when they win a war against another lobster, their serotonin is higher. So they have a higher level of serotonin. Every time they lose, their serotonin overall goes lower and their neurochemistry is very similar to our neurochemistry. What you'll find is that the more a lobster loses in a battle, the less serotonin they'll have, and therefore the less confident. They physically exemplify somebody who has low confidence. So that's shrugged shoulders. They don't go prime up. So this is called priming. They're more likely to be depressed. When you take antidepressants, that's what it's attempting to do is put up your serotonin because your serotonin level is probably lower and it could be lower because you're more of a dopamine seeker. So this is why in the whole YouTube world, they say, hey, let's go through a dopamine detox. That's good, that's step one. But step two would be at leaning into activities that are more serotonin induced. So it has a calming high, reading a book instead of scrolling on social media, which is something I did this morning and I haven't done it in a very long time because I usually do audibles instead of physically reading a book, but I didn't realize, wait, I missed this. It feels calming. It feels nice. It feels grounded. So the more activities that you can do in replacement of those high dopamine seeking activities, the more confident you'll be even outside of those activities. You just 
appear just more stable, more grounded, because ultimately you're just not going after those dopamine spikes anymore. Long story short, if you feel like you're failing yourself because you feel like you should be confident, especially because Instagram out there, you should be so confident, confidence, yeah. And ironically, if you feel like, wait, actually it's okay, to not be confident. It actually makes you feel more confident. That's really what happened with the acting coach who told me, oh wait, you shouldn't be confident. All of a sudden, I went from this to, oh, I'm not supposed to be confident. What a relief because I wasn't feeling that confidence. Oh, this is so nice. Why your confidence is falling apart is because you're not supposed to be confident all the time. You're not Superman in a comic story, right? And even Superman is actually not confident all the time. And now that I think about it, so hey, you're, you're better than a superhero. So go out there. If you like this kind of content, just follow along and there will be more.